I started uh, building wireless network in my country, Nepal, in early 2000, when the wireless technology was just coming. Uh, nobody then believed that, you know, it was possible to build a wireless network in a remote Himalayan region and bring internet in remote villages where, you know, there are no roads, no telecommunication services. So, even if, uh, you know, nobody believed it, I, you know, started building and, uh, you know, connecting villages and bring internet, um, broad internet uh, and, uh, and taught people how to use the computers and the internet. Uh, slowly, we found that you know, the internet can be uh, used for more other things and, uh, rather than just, you know, uh, you know, sending emails or, you know, just uh, checking some website. So, we are, you know, now, um, you know, using the internet uh, to provide health services, you know, e-learning e services and uh, some uh, local e-commerce services as well as, you know, some, you know, uh, communication services uh, for the people. Yes, uh, I mean for me the the most memorable you know um, uh, breakthrough that I think uh, uh, we made was in 2002 when uh, we you know built the first long range you know wireless link uh, using you know simple Wi-Fi router and a home built antenna. Uh, so we connected the first village that was uh, 34 plus. Uh, and six kilometer. That was altogether 40 kilometer far from the nearest city, and uh, uh, and uh, nobody then believed that you know uh, it was possible to build a long range uh, you know wireless network with uh, Wi-Fi. So that was the breakthrough, and uh, there was a very memorable time for us when you know we made that happen. I would uh, describe it, uh, you know, as a, you know, as a, you know, you know, quite, uh, you know, good good weather, uh, as a good weather because you know, internet is, is still in its infancy, and uh, it is still growing. You know, we don't know how you know how far we'll be able to go, but uh, it is quite you know, um, good uh, uh, condition right now. Uh, I have uh, mostly the concern I have is you know that you know still there are uh, you know over you know two or three billion people still uh, you know have not been able to use you know the internet or have not been able to get benefit out of the internet. Uh, that's my concern. Uh, other than that, you know uh, you know the technology is improving uh, very fast and. Uh, at you know amazing you know uh, pace, and so uh, I hope that you know the Im internet will be improved uh, much more and will be much better, cheaper, faster, uh, and uh, uh, will uh, help you know the the people even living in the in the remote or you know uh, you know least developed countries uh, of the world, and the the, the it will bring you know um, good uh, benefit for the people. I work, you know, uh, independently uh, in in Nepal for uh, for several years to bring uh, the benefit of the internet in remote areas where uh, people had never heard about the internet. Uh, I tried my best, and I have been working very hard for the last, you know, twelve years. Uh, so what I learned from you know my experience is that it's, it's just not the, you know. Uh, not how hard, you know, just a few people or few organizations work to bring the benefit of internet for the uh, for the uh, the um, population of a country. It's not uh, enough. And the government must take initiative, uh, you know, to you know provide uh, uh, the, the benefit of the internet uh, to whole population of the country. So, uh, you know, what I am trying now is, you know, trying to. 
uh, uh, work with the government to find ways to uh, bring the benefit of the internet to the whole population, not just a, a few segments of a community or few people uh, uh, who are, you know, uh, uh, living uh, near the cities.